Hello everyone, my name is Kirill, you are on the Auto Advisor channel. Today we will talk about what engine power is getting wasted on and how to save some fuel. Do you know what fuel consumption depends on? But don't tell me a long list of things, try to formulate it in one sentence. And so, if you try to put it in one sentence, then fuel consumption depends on the amount of energy the engine expends. When fuel is burned in the engine, a certain amount of energy is released, and this energy is spent on various needs, which I will now describe in detail. I have a list of five points. The first point is the losses associated with the efficiency of the engine and transmission as a whole. As you know, any technical product has a so-called efficiency. For example, if the efficiency of the engine is 50%, this means that the half of the energy goes nowhere, like heat, friction and so on. In order to save fuel here, it is necessary that the engine and transmission operate under normal operating conditions. For example, if there is insufficient oil in the engine, the engine will waste energy on friction. Also, all the necessary technical fluids, such as coolants, for example, must be filled into the car. So, you need to monitor the technical condition of the car, so that everything would work fine. The car needs to be fully serviced for you to drive without any errors. For example, if you drive with a lambda probe error on the dashboard, then your fuel consumption will immediately increase. If you want to know why, then we have a separate video about the lambda probe on our channel. And so, with proper vehicle maintenance, you can save up to 5% of spent fuel. The second point of energy loss is related to additional energy consumers. For example, powerful audio systems, some kind of headlights, air conditioning, a refrigerator, and some people even install a kettle. It is clear that if all these energy consumers are excluded, then fuel consumption can be reduced and up to 5 more percent can be saved. Further, all points on energy consumption will be associated with the driving of the car. The third point is aerodynamics losses. The first is that the air resistant force depends on the square of the speed. So if you are moving at speeds greater than 120-130 km per hour, then air resistance force increases strongly. Also, if a wrong body kit is installed on the car, like front and rear bumpers, side skirts, then this can all increase fuel consumption. Although, if the spoiler is installed correctly, then you can save some fuel. Regarding friction, we also should mention opening windows and driving with an open head. Even if you just put your hand out while driving, this also negatively affects fuel consumption. In total, you can save up to 5 more percent of fuel. Although, if you drive at high speeds, more than 130 km per hour, then fuel consumption will rise by 20-30%. The fourth point is related to the force of rolling resistance. In simple terms, this means that in order to move the car, you need to apply some effort and it depends on the type of surface. If you drive on higher ground, then the energy consumption will be less than if you drive on sand, swamps and so on. The degree of tire inflation also applies to this point. It is clear that if you have flat tires, then this increases fuel consumption. An important factor is the tread of the tires, since there is a special tread for off-road and a special tread for racing tracks, for example. Therefore, if you use big ones that are designed for off-road on highways, then you will also increase fuel consumption. And the fifth point is related to the cost of acceleration. That is, the faster you accelerate, the more energy the engine spends. The conclusion is that if we smoothly accelerate, then we would spend less energy and hence less fuel. These were the main points on which you can save some fuel. Therefore, if I didn't tell you something that you've seen in the literature or on the YouTube, it can still be attributed to one of the five points 
points we listed above. I hope this video was useful to you. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. All the best to you and see you again.